Hey guys, so today I'm here with yet another State of Jailbreak video. And today I'm going to be talking all about iOS 4.3. So in addition to talking about the jailbreak, I'm also going to go ahead and talk about just the firmware itself in case you don't already know. Um, so go ahead and just to begin with, um, iOS 4.3 is going to be available most likely early next month, probably coinciding with the Verizon iPhone release. Um, it's going to bring a couple of new features for the different devices. Um, so the main thing is that it's going to allow AirPlay to work with apps. So that way it should be, you know, it opens up a lot of possibilities for different apps on your iPod or iPhone to go ahead and simply just go ahead and uh, send the video over across using AirPlay, which has typically been pretty much restricted uh, up until now. So that's pretty cool. Um, on the iPad, it's also going to be uh, a really cool feature that allows you to go ahead and just swipe up to pull up the multitasking bar, as well as to swipe left and right to go ahead and switch apps, which is definitely a very, very cool little feature. Um, now on to some of the bad, bad news, which is the fact that it looks like iOS 4.3 will not support the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch second generation. Um, so actually, this is kind of surprising. Um, you know, we've typically had support for them, you know, uh, judging from last year where we had all the way up to iOS 4, um, it looks like Apple's not even going to bother bringing it any farther. It looks like if you have one of those devices, it's going to be the end of the line. You're never going to get any more updates. So that's kind of a disappointment. Uh, now, getting away from that, go ahead and talk about the jailbreak itself. Uh, now, of course, as you guys most likely know, there are a couple of untethered jailbreaks that are currently in development. Um, so there's one, Red Snow, which is going to be, uh, which requires access to the iOS 4.2 Beta 3 SH, SH blobs in the firmware. Um, you can currently use that for on 4.2.1 right now. Uh, no word whether or not that's going to work on 4.3, but I think that the odds are pretty good. Uh, now, of course, 4.3 also should work with the same Lime Rain exploit that we've used for quite a while. Um, however, with the Verizon iPhone, it's going to kind of get a little complicated. Um, so basically what the question is is whether or not Apple has patched the I Lime Rain exploit. Uh, now a lot of people tend to think that they have and in that case it's possible that we'll fall back to Shatter or something else. So there's a lot of things going on and it's really not clear what jailbreak we will be using here in a month or two. Um, but do know that there are a lot of exploits available, there are a lot of different methods of doing this. So one way or the other we should have ourselves a jailbreak for the Verizon iPhone as well as just uh, devices on 4.3 in general pretty soon. So anyway guys, that's it. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update just talking a little bit about 4.3, the Verizon iPhone, um, what we're going to do about jailbreaking, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Anyway guys, Thanks for watching.